How's it going, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon X, and kind of sometimes maybe, I don't know why. Last time, we continued our adventure. We went back home to tell our mom that we were basically leaving forever with our new Pokemon, and then we made a couple of new friends. We caught some new team members, and they are... Fletchling and Bunnelby, and as you see, I have done a bit of training in between episodes. Froakie is level 12, and there's a good reason I have got Froakie up a lot higher than everybody else. Um, but Fletchling is level 9, and Bunnelby is level 7, and if you didn't notice in the last episode after I looked up their summaries, the two Bunnelby that I caught, and yes, there's a reason I caught a second one, they have the ability pick up, which means they can pick up items randomly while I'm walking around and stuff. So let's take these items. A great ball. Wow, that's a very good item for this early on in the game. And let's take this one, a full heal, an also really good item. And also off screen, I caught a scatter bug, which we've encountered on this route in the last episode quite a handful of times. Um, there is a reason why I'm, I caught the Scatterbug. Actually, there are two. One, Scatterbug evolves into a Pokemon that actually has many different designs. The most designs in any Pokemon game, in fact. Or rather, any Pokemon species. Uh, I'm hoping I can show off every single one of those forms, and that's going to be a bit of a process. So I might call out for help on that one. But the other reason is that I want to try to complete the Kalos decks. Well, in terms of catching every single Pokemon native to Kalos. So I'm going to make an attempt at that. I'm not promising anything, but I'm going to try. Anyway, let's just head into this new area here to the north. And this is Santa Loon Forest. Wait up, let's walk together. I feel like something exciting will happen if I stay by you. I'll heal your Pokemon whenever they- Oh, okay, Shauna, your text bubble can disappear. But if this looks a little familiar to you, that's because the Santa Loon Forest is basically modeled after the Viridian Forest from Generation 1, from the Kanto region. And that is one of many, many different references to Kanto, starting in Generation 6. Basically, Generation 6 and sort of Generation 7 were kind of like Kanto tribute games in a way, because there's a lot of Kanto involved with these, uh, with those games. Anyway, we are running into new Pokémon here. This is Pansage, which was introduced in the Unova region just a generation ago. Uh, the cool thing about this, though, is that... Oh, by the way, Fletchling has the ability Big Pecs. We don't get any stat changes with Big Pecs. It's nice. Uh, but the cool thing with Pansage is that it's part of the evolutionary trio. In terms of... Well, that's the wrong way to say it. It's part of a trio of Pokemon, uh, including itself, a Fire-type Panseer, and a Water-type Panpour. And what's really cool is that you can catch them early on in this game, in the fifth generation, in black and white rather I should say, uh, you can catch them in the Pinwheel Forest, but that's after the second gym badge. However, in this game, you can catch them before you even access the first city with a gym in it. So, if you wanted to get a little bit of type coverage, additional type coverage on your team, um, then definitely pick up one of the two, or both, of the monkeys that aren't the same type as your starter Pokemon. And as you see, we just ran into Panseer here. And they're fairly easier to find in the Santa Loon Forest compared to their appearance in Black and White. I don't remember if you have to... I think you have to wait until the Pinwheel Forest again in Black 2 and White 2. I don't recall and count... Oh no, actually, I think they can appear on Route 16 after the fourth gym badge? I think. I don't really remember. Anyway, I'm running to a lot of wild Pokemon. I wish I could buy some repels, but I don't think we can until after the first badge. Anyway, we're picking up some items along the way, of course. We have a potion right here. And I- did I pass a trainer? Are you a trainer over here? I know I spotted you, there you are. This way leads to a dead end, huh? Alright, guess I'll just have to save my progress so I don't forget what I've done so far. Okay, so you're gonna be picking up your session at another time. 
interesting. Anyway, a really cool thing about this game in particular, at least this moment in the game, is that your friends slash rivals actually have text boxes that appear above their heads while you're walking by them. And Tierno's in a battle with the trainer. Okay, I guess I won't battle him. Oh, well, there's a trainer up there, but Shauna apparently wants me to hang on for a quick second. What's going on, Shauna? Look what I found. I'll give it to you. I love puzzles, so I watch everything more closely than you might think. A Paralyze Heal. Also in this game, they finally uh, took the abbreviation of Paralyze and made it fully spelled out. Ah, uh, God bless the additional characters. Anyway, we do have trainers to fight, unlike, you know, freaking Tierno blocking our path. And this one right here, this is Youngster Joey. Unfortunately, Rattata from the Kanto region, Joey's signature Pokemon, at least in uh, the Kanto games and Johto. Unfortunately, no Rattata in this game, so Joey instead is going to have a Scatterbug and another Pokemon, which we will see in just a moment. I like how it... I said I would cut out trainer battles at the end of the last episode. Oh, he has a Fletchling. And then I'm showing this, I mean, it is Youngster Joey. Youngster Joey is a legend among the, po among the Pokemon series. Like, come on, you have to. And it's really funny too, because um, outside of the remakes of Generation 1 and Generation 2 in 3 and Generation 3 and 4 respectively, there is no Youngster Joey in the Hoenn region or in the Sinnoh region, but Youngster Joey they brought back as a trainer from Black and White onward, and he uh, there's been a Youngster Joey in every Pokemon game after that. Why they didn't include one in Hoenn and Sinnoh, I have no idea, but it is what it is. Anyway, so there we go, we defeated the Youngster Joey. Let's continue making our... Oh, hi Tierno. I don't know what what's going on here. I wonder what kind of dance works best with a crew of Pokemon in it. Uh, yeah, okay, Tierno. Uh, so that trainer there that you were facing, can I face him now? Hey, are your Pokemon ready to go? If you battle, you learn more about your Pokemon partner. Uh, well, Shauna said she would heal my Pokemon. Maybe Shauna can heal yours. Shauna, what do you gotta say? Want me to heal your- Oh, okay, you're just gonna heal my Pokemon. All right, I'm on it. Do you say anything besides that, though? Come out, come out, little Pokemon, wherever you are. Oh, okay, so you do at least say something more than, let me heal your Pokemon. You're not just a healing slave. I like it. All right, let's see. Oh, wait. Yeah, I'm supposed to cut out wild Pokemon battles, too. Hey, we've seen every three of the elemental monkeys. Wow. Usually, I only encounter one of the monkeys, or at least two. Like, I see another monkey once. But usually, I don't see all three of them during a playthrough. That's actually really cool. Anyway, let's make our way through the grass. I could really use some repels. And we see Panpour again. I'm just gonna keep running away from you. Uh, in fact, after this battle, I'll probably just keep cutting out the wild Pokemon just because it gets a little bit repetitive until the very least I get repels. And of course, if we're catching a new Pokemon for the team, I won't spray repel. Uh, yes, Serena. Okay, thank you for the free Pokeball. Uh, if you're playing as Serena or whatever you name yourself as the girl character, Kalem will also give you a Pokeball, so have no fear. There's no difference depending on what gender you play as. Anyway, uh, trainer battle, so I guess I'll cut it out now and stop talking. Or not, because I forgot that you have Pikachu, and in this game, Pikachu uses its voice from the anime, which is really, really exciting. I love that they added this to the series, how they added Pikachu having its anime voice. It's really, really cool. I believe, yeah, if I remember correctly, that's how they introduced the announcement for X and Y. They had uh, Pikachu and her vo uh, Pikachu's voice actress in the anime, like on top of the Eiffel Tower, or maybe it was the equivalent of the Eiffel Tower in this game that we'll see a little bit later. Um, but they had, like, Pikachu talk to the viewer before introducing, uh, stuff in the Kalos region. It was really, really cool. Anyway, we defeated the Lass, so that's exciting.
And now I definitely do need to be healed up, Shauna, because that did a- that Pikachu left my, uh, Fletchling static. Oh, speaking of, I was going to train up Bunnelby, but I kept Fletchling in front. Yeah, that was weird. Okay, well, Bunnelby, now you can participate in the action. I'm sorry that you were kind of left behind there for, like, the first couple battles of this episode. Man, I'd forgotten how little money you get from these trainers in this forest. Anyway, there is a free Pokeball over here for you to collect if you so desire. I do recommend picking up any of the items you see laying out. That was weird, Shauna's text box was blocking the item for a moment, uh, the text of the item for a moment. Another potion sitting right here, and hopefully we can make our way through without encountering any more wild Pokemon, hooray. So, you're the first to arrive. Looks like my new neighbor is someone with a lot of potential. The way Pokemon move, it's just incredible. I want to show off some of the spirit when I dance. Tierno, could you think about something besides how Pokemon move for once? We're all here. Let's go to Santa Loon City. Alright, well, last one to leave is the coolest kid in Kalos. Got him. What a bunch of losers. Alright, let's exit the Santa Loon Forest, and let's head on to... Route 3, Overt Way. What are you all going to do? Why, look for Pokemon, of course. The professor did ask us to complete the Pokedex, after all. And furthermore, different Pokemon prefer living in different places. To put it another way, it's a chance to find different Pokemon than the ones in the forest. I'll bet Pokemon will use different moves. I sure want to see a lots of moves. What are you gonna do, Serena? I'm going to go to Santa Loon City's gym and challenge the gym leader. You see, Pokemon trainers find out how good they really are by challenging the leaders in Pokemon gyms. Wow, you sure know a lot. It's because Mom and Dad taught me so much. Here. I have something for you guys. Adventure rules. I wrote down 10 different tips every trainer should know. Here's one for you. We've obtained the adventure rules, which aren't really important, but hooray. If you are puzzled about something, try looking in these rules. Oh, this is great. I'm gonna spend some time to getting, getting to know my little Fennekin. What are you going to do, Jimmy? Well, I'm going to continue on to Route 3 and fight some more trainers. Oh, I feel bad. We're going to be beating preschoolers. At least they get to keep their lunch money. A detail that I really, really love about this preschooler in particular, and it's probably with the female one too, but this little guy has a very nice little Charizard plushie in his backpack, and it's so adorable. Anyway, let's move on to the female preschooler because, I mean, I could walk in the grass to avoid her, but my, let's be honest, Bunnelby still needs to catch up to Fletchling and Froakie, so I might as well fight every trainer I see. Aw, she has a Baneary doll that she holds in her hand. It's just, these trainers are so cute. I love the preschoolers in this game. And a roller skater just went by. How rude, cause <laughs> she like, she was just like barreling at me. I, I'm lucky that it automatically moved me out of the way. <laughs> Let's just say that. Well, that's just great. Bunnelby ended up fainting to this kid's Bidoof. Just great. Well, anyway, there's a super potion that you can get right over here. All you have to do is hop down the ledge, make sure you actually come over this way. I think you fight me, and also I can run into a Pokemon, because I didn't just want to encounter the trainer, no. I wanted to run into the Pidgey first. I figured I would just jump ahead and battle the schoolboy, just so I could get it over with. And less cutting back to back, you know. I went to the Pokemon Center because I was asked to buy Pokeballs. Oh, well, how convenient. I need to go to the Pokemon Center. 
Okay, is it just me or does this music sound like it belongs at like some type of rodeo? Especially that intro sequence, Jesus. Anyway, we here we are, we're in Santa Loon City. I, n I like how I insulted it. I'm sorry if you're like involved with the rodeo. The rodeo is a pretty entertaining place. Yeah, that was just mean of me to say. Uh, oh, hey there, Jimmy. Are you here to get your Pokemon healed too? Pokemon centers sure are great. You can talk to the lady at the counter to have her heal your Pokemon. And you can even deposit Pokemon you've caught in that PC. You know how Pokemon are sent to the PC when you're caught more than you carry? That's where they go. Oh yeah, Jimmy. There's a Pokemon in the back of a Pokemon Center. It's a good idea to stock up on Pokeballs and potions and stuff at the Pokemart too. And of course, usually there's a Pokemon Center tutorial. Luckily, it's not as bad as the other ones, but let's heal the team really quickly. And also, I'm probably going to deposit at least the Scatterbug on me, because I do believe uh, the second Bunnelby that I caught on Route 2 does have a bit of use in this um, in this city in particular, so. Uh, let's deposit the little scatterbug. You're a calm nature. I never actually checked its nature, so that's, uh, that's nice. And you have a, I think shield dust it was a new ability in this generation when it was first revealed. Uh, I don't need to do anything else in the Pokemon Center, and you're never really going to see the Pokemon Center again, unless there's items from somebody in the center, and there are none in this one, so let's just walk on out. Although I do love the transition with the Pokeball, that's so good, I love that they have that. Anyway, uh, I will explore Santa Loon City in the next episode, but we're not done quite yet because I actually want to head all the way up here, and I'm just gonna avoid everything, because I want to head it to Route 22, De Tourner Way, I hope I said that right. A lot of these are, I believe a lot of these are French, these names of these routes, they're little extra titles, and what I want to do is I want to face trainers on this route, and I'm gonna actually show this trainer battle just to kind of explain it better. So, Route 22, you might be saying, whoa, why are you going to Route 22? You were just on Route 3, isn't it a big j level gap jump? Not quite. As you will see in just a moment, Route 22 actually features about on par levels with what you just saw in Route 3 and Santa Loon Forest. So, yeah, I'm just gonna do Route 22 now, I'm gonna face trainers, including this one, and now I'll finally cut away because... Yeah. This rising star had such an adorable Pokemon that I do believe is available on the- Oh yeah, I need cut for that. That I do believe is available on this route. Let's see if I run into it right now, actually. No, I run into a Farfetch'd. Wait, Farfetch'd are on this route? I didn't know that. Um, usually I- would remember something like this, because, I mean, Farfetch'd is a pretty out there Pokemon. How did I not remember that Farfetch'd is on this route? Unless it's like a 1% rarity and I got really, really lucky. <laughs> I don't remember Farfetch'd being on this route, like, legitimately. Oh, hey, my Bunnelby has an item. Uh, I don't really want to switch into Froakie, but you know what? Let's get Froakie some more experience, cause why not? Also, why am I still in the middle of this bat? I, it's cause I'm, it's cause I'm so shocked that I ran into a Farfetch- I legitimately forgot Farfetch'd, either I forgot or I never encountered a Farfetch'd on this route. It's weird. Also, how did that, come on, Froakie's level 13! <laughs> how did that not kill it? Farfetch'd isn't that bulky. There we go, this bubble should take care of Farfetch'd once and for all. Sorry Farfetch'd, I'm not gonna catch you because there's really no need. Bunnelby is now level 9 though, and I didn't encounter the Pokemon I actually wanted to, and I ran into another one again, I really should just get out of this grass. There you are, you adorable little bugger! Say hello to Leo, a native Kalos Pokemon. Oh, it has a nerve. I prefer your other ability, but I mean, I'm only catching these Pokemon to fill the Kalos decks in terms of, you know, the actual Kalos Pokemon. So I'm gonna go ahead and catch this Lit Leo. It might take a little while, but I'm gonna catch this little lady and I will see you in a moment. 
Okay, caught the Leo. Let's get out of the grass, finally. Thank you. But my bun will be fainted in the process, so I'm gonna go heal up really quickly, and I'll cut away until after I battle that trainer right above my head. Alright, we defeated the last. Is there anything down here? Oh. Oh, it gives me a camera view of the Pokeball over there. Okay, well, now I know that I can go get a Pokeball, but there are a couple of uh, rising stars over here that I... Yes, no, no, I can't fight. To the, qui the trick to quickly raising a lower level Pokemon is to keep it in the top. Yeah, I, I know this. I knew I've known tricks like this before you were programmed, buddy. I was the biggest fan of Grace, the famous Rhyhorn racer. I even went to faraway regions to watch her races and cheer her on. And yes, in case you weren't aware, I mentioned this in the last episode, um, but, well, I only mentioned that your mother in the games is canonically the same mom of Serena in the anime, but also that your mom is the Rhyhorn racer, Grace, so there you go. One of the rare instances where your mother in the games actually has a name. Trainer tips! In a battle, you can check your Pokémon's moves for details like power and accuracy ratings. Just hold down the L button before selecting the move. Nice advice. Uh, and you, you're definitely somebody I can fight, so let's go ahead and do that. I like the funkiness of this pre-battle music, it's so catchy! You know, the one thing I can say about these trainers is at least they're giving me more than enough what a preschooler gives me. Speaking of which... My apologies to the young schoolboy, although he still didn't give enough money compared to the Rising Star, so I was kind of right. Uh, I can't access that area quite yet. You, I... Oh, there are a couple people. Oh, never mind. Oh, you're the shortcut person in this game. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna do the shortcut yet. I think that means we're at the end of this route. So, the only trainer left is not this preschooler. I'm not gonna make that mistake again. This is a school lass or girl. I, assu I assume it's school girl because that was schoolboy up there in the top corner of the screen. I'm just gonna shut up and get to the battle now. Alright, we defeated the schoolgirl, and I would go up this way, but there's really nothing for us. In fact, this leads to a pretty uh, substantial area that we won't be seeing until, like, really later on. Wait a minute, there's another trainer here, and she is an actual trainer. I thought I was done. I was gonna go hop some ledges, but nope. One more trainer. They always sucker me in. Okay, for real. You better have been the last trainer. I just... I can't do anything here. Why are you here then? Oh, you probably lead somewhere later on in the game. Alright, I'm just gonna hop some ledges. Hopefully I don't miss this item. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Thank you for being here on this fine, wonderful day. It's a super potion that you can grab, so... You'd be kind of weird not to miss it since there's a ledge very far away from that one, and the item is closer to the ledge you just hopped over. Anyway, I'm going to go heal up now inside of the Pokemon Center, but before that, I'm gonna wrap things up here. Next time on Pokemon X and sort of maybe kind of why, don't worry, I'll talk about that actually in the next episode, about why version and why I'm introducing these episodes this way. But next time we will be exploring the city of Santa Loon, and maybe if I have enough time we'll go and see our first gym. So until then, thank you for watching, and I will catch you later.